Hello, welcome to Smile the Flowers Yoga. My name is Jessica Flowers and I love to share practices that will help you learn to slow down and find joy in simple pleasures like smelling the flowers. Today I have for you a yoga nidra practice. For yoga nidra, you'll want to come to a comfortable position. Often this is done lying on your back in a Shavasana pose, but you want to make sure that you can be comfortable for about 20 minutes with little to no movement. So you may have um, some extra padding under your knees, maybe a pillow under your head or a folded blanket. You may also want to cover up with a blanket to make sure that you're warm. Some other options would be to sit at a wall with your back supported, your legs could be out long, or any other posture that you think will allow you to remain relatively still, but still alert so that you can listen to the sound of my voice. Wherever you are, make sure that you are warm enough and that your position is one that you will be comfortable with for the duration of the practice. It is best that you remain still during yoga nidra so that both your body and brain have a chance to fully relax. However, if you become uncomfortable, please feel free to change position. Allow your eyes to close and keep them closed until the practice has ended. The practice of yoga nidra is a practice of yogic sleep that will guide you to a state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. Try to remain awake by listening to the sound of my voice. You will be asked to move your awareness to various bodily sensations emotions and images. Try not to concentrate too intensely as this may prevent you from relaxing. During this meditation, please use and absorb what you need in the moment and leave the rest behind. If your mind becomes overactive with thoughts and worries, just come back to the sound of my voice. With today's practice, we will be taking different points of light. You can imagine these like a twinkling star. And we'll, we'll be moving energy as we move these stars to different points in the body. The points that we will rotate through today are called marma points. These are points where um, in the Nadi energy um, system of traditional Indian yoga or the Ayurvedic tradition, are, um, the Nadis are the energy pathways similar to meridians in traditional Chinese medicine. And you can think of the Marma points as being similar to acupuncture points. Generally, they're where a variety of different types of tissues come together and meet, and in the energetic sense, where different nadis or energy channels would meet or originate. So from your comfortable position, Allow your body to release even more by taking a few deep breaths. Feel your body resting on the earth. Notice your body breathing and feel its weight on the earth. Notice how your body gets lighter on the inhalation and heavier on the exhalation. Feel the earth beneath you. Feel its strength, its solidity, and its unconditional support. Remember that the earth can hold the full weight of your body. 
and anything else you may be carrying. As you inhale, feel the earth rising up to hold you. As you exhale, feel the force of gravity and accept the invitation to release your full weight down, 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 into the earth. Become aware of the breath and notice where you feel it moving. Let the breath rise and fall in your belly. With each breath in, feel how your body is refreshed and purified. With each breath out, feel yourself let go of all tension from both your body and your mind. Begin to count the breaths backwards from 20 to zero. Inhale, 20. Exhale, 20. Inhale, 19. Exhale, 19. Inhale, 18. Exhale, 18. And so on. Let go more and more with each breath. Continue counting down to zero. If you miss a number or lose your place, don't worry. You could just try starting counting from zero back up to 20. With each breath, let both your body and your mind feel free. You can let go of counting now and scan through your body to release any remaining tension. Now I 
invite you to imagine that you're outside looking up at the stars. The first star that you see in the sky. Think of a wish. What would you wish upon that star? Try to let this wish come naturally without the need to rationalize it. Imagine how freely you used to be able to make such wishes as a child. And with that same sense of carefreeness, you can come up with your wish, your intention, your sankalpa. Now I invite you to bring awareness to the center point between your eyebrows. Place a tiny star twinkling there. At each point that follows, see or place a twinkling star. Place a star at the pit of your throat, in your right shoulder your right elbow joint, your right wrist, your right pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, your right thumb. Once again, back to your right wrist, Place a twinkling star there. Then in your right elbow joint, your right shoulder, and the pit of your throat. Moving to the left side, place a twinkling star in your left shoulder joint, your left elbow, your left wrist, your left pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, your left thumb. Back to your left wrist, your left elbow, your left shoulder joint, the pit of your throat. Now at the center of your chest, Place a twinkling star. Then on the right side of your chest and the left side of your chest and back to the center of your chest. See the twinkling star there. Now down to your navel center and your pelvic center at the base of your spine your right hip joint, the middle of your right thigh, your right knee joint, middle of your right calf, your right ankle, right little toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, your right big toe your right ankle joint, middle of your right calf, right knee, middle of the right thigh, right hip joint, pelvic center at the base of your spine. Now to your left side, place a twinkling star in your left hip joint, the middle of your left thigh, your left knee joint, middle of your left calf, your left ankle, your left little toe, fourth toe, third toe, 
second toe, your left big toe, your left ankle joint, middle of your left calf, left knee joint, middle of the left thigh, left hip joint, back to your pelvic center at the base of the spine. Place a twinkling star there. Then to your navel center, the center of your chest, the right side of your chest, the left side of your chest, the center of your chest, base of your throat, and your third eye center. See a constellation of stars in your body. See a constellation to the right and to the left of your body. Sense a galaxy of stars above your body. Sense a galaxy of stars below your body. Feel your whole body floating in a sea of starlight. Your body is filled with this light. Now let your awareness rest at your heart. Sense that your heart is filled with a sea of liquid diamonds.
take a few minutes now to rest in cosmic awareness. Now remember that you have a body. And remember your sankalpa, your intention, or your wish that you set for your practice. Now silently cognize where you are in space and time. I am on planet Earth in the country of in the state of in the town of in this room Deepen your breath and begin to move your body in any way that feels intuitive. You may start with a gentle wiggle of your fingers and toes, imagining that you're a twinkling little star is all filled energy. You might make your movements a little bit bigger. Circling your wrists, your ankles. Maybe you stretch your arms overhead. Point your toes. Just come into a full body stretch. Maybe you open your arms wide and your legs wide. Take a big stretch out in a reclined star pose. Taking up space, expanding your energy. And then drawing it in, you can draw one knee in towards your body and your other knee in towards your body giving yourself a hug. And you can roll onto your side, just cradle your head and your arm for a few breaths, taking your time. There's no rush. When you're ready, you can press into the ground and bring yourself back up to seated. I'll ring my bells now also to help bring you back. I'd like to leave you with a quote by astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. The atoms of our bodies are traceable to stars. 
that manufactured them in their cores and exploded these enriched ingredients across our galaxy billions of years ago. For this reason, we are biologically connected to every other living thing in the world. We are chemically connected to all molecules on Earth, and we are atomically connected to all atoms in the universe. We are not figuratively, but literally stardust. I'm bringing my hands to my heart, bowing that light inside of me acknowledges and sees that beautiful, bright, shining light inside of you. Namaste.